My topic is history of agriculture from prehistoric times to the era of industrial revolution. My name is Evangelos Manolas. I was born in Naxos, Greece in 1961. I hold a Bachelor of Arts degree in Sociology from the University of Essex, a Master of Arts in International Relations from the University of Kent at Canterbury, and a Philosophy Doctorate from the University of Aberdeen. I serve as Professor of Sociology and Environmental Forest Education in the Department of Forestry and Management of the Environment and Natural Resources, School of Agricultural and Forestry Sciences, Democritus University of Thrace, Orestiava, Greece. My research interests are Didactics of Sociology and Environmental Science, Environmental Sociology, Environmental Movements, Climate Change, Environmental Forest Education. The Beginnings There are among scientists disagreements as to when and where exactly agriculture began, but many agree that agriculture started with the use of wild grain, the production of wild grain, in Southwest Asia and North Africa around 20,000 years before the Common Era. About nine and a half thousand years before the Common Era, in the Levant region, Fertile Crescent, we have selection and cultivation of specific food plant characteristics, such as semi-tough rushes and larger seeds. After nine and a half thousand years before the Common Era, we have the appearance of eight founder crops of agriculture. First, emmer and acorn wheat, then hulled barley, then peas, lentils, bitter vets, chickpeas, and flax. Around 7,000 years before the Common Era, sowing and harvesting reached Mesopotamia. 6,000 years before the Common Era, farming was entrenched on the banks of the Nile River. 3,000 to 2,700 years before the Common Era, maize was first domesticated in the Americas. The potato, the tomato, the pepper, squash, several varieties of bean, and several other plants were also developed in the New World. Around 5,500 years before the Common Era, in Sumer, we have large-scale intensive cultivation of land, monocropping, organized irrigation, and use of a specialized labor force. Intensive farming 
allows for the accumulation of excess product. Excess food made possible the involvement of people in other tasks, including the rise of standing armies. Ancient agriculture, agriculture in Sumer. Barley was the main crop, but wheat, flax, dates, apples, plums and grapes were grown too. Domestication, domestication of the earliest known sheep and goats also in Sumer. The city's population of 6,000 included a labor force of 2,500, cultivating 3,000 acres of land. Mesoamerica, 8,000 to 2,000 years before the Common Era. Many of the hunter-gatherer micro bands in the region began to cultivate wild plants. We also have domestication of many plant species as a result of cultivation becoming more focused. The most famous plant species is maize and also the most important to Mesoamerican agriculture. The second most important crop in Mesoamerican agriculture is the squash. It is older than maize, dated 28,000 years before the Common Era in Oaxaca. Types of squash, pumpkin and its relatives. Beans is the third major food source in Mesoamerica. Maize, beans and squash form a triad of products known as the Three Sisters. Other plants first cultivated in Mesoamerica. First, tomatoes, avocados, guavas, chili peppers, manioc, agave, prickly wear. Second, rubber trees, cotton plants. Third, cacao. Those in category one were cultivated as additional food resources. Those in category two were useful for making products like latex, balls and clothing, while cacao beans were used as money and later for making chocolate. Aztecs. For Aztecs, farming constituted the basis of their economy. They developed irrigation systems, formed terraced hillsides, and fertilized their soil. Their most famous agricultural technique was the Chinampa or artificial islands also known as floating gardens. Agriculture in ancient Egypt. Fifth millennium, Fayum cultivation of common wheat and distipus barley. The seeds were stored in silos and crushed in mills. Pigs, cows and sheep were domesticated. Third millennium, cultivation of cereals, flax, papyrus, cotton, faba, lentils, okras, onions, melons, cabbage. Agriculture in ancient Greece. 
7th millennium. Beginnings of agriculture in Greece. Cleaning of land from trees and bushes. Cultivation of cereals. I wheat, barley and possibly oats and millet. Then passes I.e. peas, lentil, faba. Then meat, cheese, game. The ancient Greeks were involved in farming activities since Homer's era, historic times. By the 5th century, Greece had started using crop rotation methods in order to let the soil to rest. Most important activities in the 5th century Raising of animals, viticulture and olive cultivation Domesticated animals Cow, horse, donkey, sheep, pigs Poultry farming was developed after the death of Alexander the Great. Agriculture in Rome. Some Roman provinces specialized in the production of grain, others in wine, and others in olive oil, depending on the type of soil. Crops grown on Roman farms include wheat, barley, millet, kidney bean, pea, broad bean, lentil, flax, sesame, chickpea, hep, turnip, olive, pear apple, fig, and plum. The Romans also used animals extensively. Cows provided milk, oxen and mules were used for ploughing and pulling wagons, Sheeps, sheep and goats were used for cheese production but were also prized for their hides while horses were mostly raised for racing or war. In Roman law agriculture was highly valued. A Roman farmer had the legal right to use force to protect his property if necessary. In ancient Rome, the work needed in farms and fields, fields was done by slaves. Agriculture in Byzantium. The Byzantines in areas near the sea, cultivated cereal crops, pulses, grapes and olives. They also cultivated 13 different cereal species. Bread wheat, durum wheat, halved barley, naked barley, two round barley, spelt, rye, broom corn millet, foxtail millet, rice, ain corn and emmer, the majority of them used for baking bread. Most cultivated pulse species, faba bean, garden pea, lentil, bitter vets, common vets, grass pea, chick pea, white lupin. Plants exploited for their oil and fiber were Olive, linseed, hemp, poppy, camelina. They also cultivated vegetables, fruits and nuts. Nuts such as almond spines, walnut, hazelnut were also preferred for cultivation. They also had wine production. The Byzantine farmer 
was dependent on muscle power in the form of human work and animal traction. The animals most often used for ploughing were oxen. Byzantine plough technology is famous for creating a seed bed capable of maintaining soil moisture. The Byzantines also terraced hilly areas, which was a most common practice in the history of the Mediterranean region. The technique usually used for the construction of terraces was dry stone walling. Through terrace construction, the productive area of the land would be greatly extended. Terraces were most often used for tree crops, but also for cereal cultiva cultivation and garden crops. Chinese agriculture. The unique tradition of Chinese agriculture has been traced to the prehistoric Yangtzeau culture around 5,000 years before the Common Era to 3,000 years before the Common Era and Longshan culture around 3,000 years before the Common Era to 2,000 years before the Common Era. Chinese records from 481 years before the Common Era to 220 Common Era allude to the use of complex agricultural practices such as a nationwide, nationwide granary system and widespread use of sericulture. First century before the Common Era, Chinese innovations. Hydraulic powered trip hammer and square pallet chain pump. The hydraulic powered trip hammer was used to pound, decorticate and polish grain, tasks that without it would have to be done manually. The function of the square pallet chain pump was mainly to lift water from a lower to higher elevation, elevation for filling irrigation canals and channels. From 317 to 589 the Silk Road and other international trade developed further farming technology. People through irrigation works converted large areas of wasteland for agricultural use. Rice was grown twice a year and cattle began to be used for plowing and fertilization purposes. Improvements in, in farming machinery during the Tang Dynasty 618 to 907 included the mold board plow and water mill. Later, during the Yuan Dynasty from 1,271 to 1,368 cotton planting and weaving technology were extensively used and improved. The Middle Ages owe much of its development to progress made in Islamic areas while Europe, Rome and Byzantium 
enter a prolonged period of social and economic stagnation. The contribution of Islam. Development of an advanced system of irrigation using machines such as norias, dams and reservoirs. Adoption of scientific approaches to farming which first detailed where, when and how to plant and grow various crops and second enabled the introduction of new crops and breeds and strains of livestock. Adoption of new approaches to land ownership and laborers' rights, combining the recognition of private ownership and the rewarding of cultivators. Private farming was transformed into a new global industry and exported everywhere. Spain received what she in turn transmitted to the rest of Europe. New crops, sugar cane, rice, citrus fruit, apricots, cotton, artichokes, aubergines and saffron. Also, older ones were further developed. Muslims also brought to Spain almonds, figs and sub-tropical crops such as bananas. Renaissance to Industrial Revolution After 1492, there was global exchange of plants and animals known as the Colombian exchange. Crops and animals that were previously only known in the old world were now transplanted to the new world and vice versa. From the new world to Europe, tomatoes, maize and potatoes all widely adopted. Other transplanted crops worth mentioning are pineapple, cocoa and tobacco. In the other direction, wheat, sugar, coffee, cattle and pigs all are known in the new world. The 18th and 19th century also saw glass houses or greenhouses advances in the understanding of plant genetics and subsequently the development of hybrid crops, storage silos and grain elevators. Late 19th and 20th centuries, rapid rise of mechanization, particularly in the form of the tractor, rail and highway networks, container shipping and refrigeration. Identification of nitrogen and phosphorus as important factors in plant growth which resulted in the manufacture of synthetic fertilizers. The discovery of antibiotic and vaccines helped raising livestock in greater numbers by reducing disease. Chemicals developed for use in World War II gave rise to synthetic pesticides. Advantages of food production In all continents, the development of civilizations and the appearance of agriculture went hand in hand, e.g. Incas, Aztecs. Farming, when compared to hunting and food gathering, produced more and better food. The development of permanent communities went hand in hand with excess food 
as well as the storage of excess food. Then, three questions for discussion. One, what is the most important point of the presentation? Why? Two, what are the strong and weak points of the presentation? Justify your choices. And three, what other information would you need in order to understand this topic further? Thank you.